but your muscle becomes stronger the more you work with it. Mm -hmm. The more kalpa is, the more healings, the more soul retrievals, the stronger the muscle becomes. Because in it, as you are using it, more and more, you will not only be channeling the animals, the elements, but you're going to go for everything. That is why when you created your alchemies the day before yesterday, the elements came with you. When you do extractions, because sometimes there can be a case where a person has opened up so much that there was this essences also, but of a heavier frequency, of a very low frequency. For example, the times when this happens a lot is when a person is going through a lot of emotional process. You become very vulnerable when you cry. You become very vulnerable when you are going to fear. You become especially into fear because your fears become like the magnets that attract the very thing that you're afraid of. So, that moment that you are vulnerable, these essences come into you. At first, you don't notice them, but eventually they will start changing your whole alchemy, your whole genetic coding. You start becoming weak, you start becoming sick, things start getting crazy, Lots of stress, lots of frustration, lots of pain. No? Of course, none of that belongs to you. Of course it doesn't. So the way to extract it is also with the mess. <laughs> That's, that's why the spatulas are power. That's where the spatulas are power. You can extract it with the despacho. Mm. Because it has living seeds. So that these living seeds are programmed to embody these essences. And the second they're embodied in a certain alchemy, which is the despacho, they're transformed and they're offered to the fire only as gratitude for the miracle. How cool is that? <laughs> so the seed of that heavy energy is drawn into the despacho? Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. The seeds that you have in your despacho okay. draw that energy out uh -huh. because the seeds get embodied by that essence. Oh. Isn't that cool? You're just giving it another body. You're letting it exist. You're letting it be. Wow. Just not on that body because it's been harming it. Mm -hmm. because that needs that's, where, that's where your living. messes are powerful because your kuyas are also living beings that can embody these energies with no problem and transform them. So the despacho or the kuyas, either one you can extract it. She said the despachos mostly better, because, the, yeah. because of the seeds mm -hmm. that are fresher bodies to embody. Mm -hmm. Those essences will like those bodies. Or we won't. Or you could use a guinea pig. Yeah, that, that's different. That's a whole other level. Yeah. You could do you could do guinea pig, if it's really emergency, mm -hmm. and if it's not, you can do dispatch. Mm -hmm. Then is the egg thing the yeah. same principle? Run to it. Man, I will call on a bot to run to run. How many bot? Who runs? 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 Mm -hmm. If it's bigger people, you can't, it's not strong enough to extract it. If it's a child, you can heal it with the eggs, but if it's an adult, no. Mm -hmm. 
Ay, para que no vuelve, para que no vuelva, para que no regrese a Cocor. Ya hay cuenta, yo hago un lado en Hawái. So, the second the egg is embodied by that whatever possessed the person, you need to protect the body so that it doesn't go back because the egg is a cold body uh -huh. for that essence. It will come back to it fresh, but it will not want to stay there. It will want to go back to the body again. That's where children are very powerful because children, once they have let go of something, they're on another frequency and nothing can go back to them easily. But for an adult, we're too distracted, we're too much more vulnerable, too much more weak. Isn't that interesting? So you need to protect with Florida water or some kind of perfume the body of the child uh, so that it doesn't go back to the body. That is where social work becomes very powerful because they can affect the soul level of a living being and that eventually will affect the body. But why people focus only on the body and they don't take care of that soul affection? The body will not heal. Mm -hmm. You can go to a thousand doctors. They could have new cases in the planet that they never heard of. It was not about the body ever. It was about the soul first. Mm -hmm. So I remember uh, for a very long time in my life in my teenagers, I focused only on soul healing. And healing, healing that energetic, bioenergetic body first. Mm -hmm. Then, automatically, the body will start coming back to balance, back to harmony, because this body actually doesn't need to be attended. If the will of God in its creation, automatically, it takes care of anything when the soul is inside. Mm. And when parts of that soul are gone, everything starts losing balance. You start losing vitality. And that's when the body needs, you know, attention. But you don't need to attend just the body. Mm. Even when you twist an ankle, playing soccer, oh, it was just a twist of an ankle. You know, it's a matter of taking care of the muscle and the ligaments, and hopefully the bone is okay, you know. Not for them. <laughs> In a way, grandfather used to love to do burdens of babies and soul retrievals. That was his passion. Hocalib mm. mm. readings as an extra bonus. Despachos as an extra bonus. His favorite thing, his hobby, was to do soul retrievals and deliver babies. Because he said in those moments, I access the most of my love. Because the second this baby is coming, this cold world, it needs a warm hand that, that will welcome it. It needs the hands of a healer. Mm -hmm. The mother needs a strong guardian. And then the life is secured. How many ever years this baby is to live is secured. But the second it arrives, and that space isn't right, that is the first trauma. That is the first moment when you need to do the soul ritual. Right away. The second they arrive, they're already losing it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> and that's when, when he would access the most of the compassion, the most of the love, the most of the... Because the Mesa is the portal to the Master. In some, uh, in some traditions, one that was very powerful for me when learning about not being separated was when somebody told me, you exist because of this Mesa. That powerful was for me. Because your Mesa exists, you exist. Mm. Because the, the, the Mesa lineage, we went to the original places where the Mesa was worked, you know, 7,000, 8,000 years ago. 
those people. They were not people. <laughs> they were masters. Right? You saw their eyes. You saw their presence. The level of consciousness, the level of existence is different from where we are now. So, the Mesa is a portal to that. Mm. So, we need to give gratitude to our Mesa. Mm. So we hold our Mesas. Like we called on them in the morning. Like we... We began working this morning with our Mesa. Now we need to give it thanks. We need to ask every apple. Apokuna. To each one of them. Apokuna means all the apples. Mm. Uh, but they will be called on again. Mm -hmm. you know?